That's a limousine crossed Frisian. What kind is it? A limousine crossed Frisian. It's a French breed. A French beef breed. Just, and just, how, how old is this wee guy? 20 minutes. Minutes? Of 20 minutes, aye. 20. <laughs> Fantastic. Aye. Oh, does that raise your spirits? Do you love that moment? Oh, aye. Oh, aye, definitely. Uh, you want to see them carved okay, preferably during the day. You don't want to be carving them at 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and things go wrong, and you need a carving jack, you need somebody to assist and assist you. Oh, you know, that, so much happening. That's not a lot of fun. I don't know if everybody in the village will understand, but uh, Christmas morning, uh, you only work five days a week, don't you? You get Saturday, Sunday off, is that right? Every week. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, what no. happens? Christmas morning, you got to be out shift, doing a shift, what you got? You... you do as much as you can on Christmas Eve to try and reduce the amount of work on Christmas Day. And there'll be stuff that you're supposed to do on Christmas Day or should do on Christmas Day that gets left to Boxing Day. Give yourself as much time as possible. Everything else just gets gets done. Um, all the feeding and bedding, if you can minimise it for Christmas Day and maybe get the afternoon off. If you're lucky, I've had I've had been sitting down to Christmas dinner before, <laughs> and not just once, and having to go and carve a coup, oh, leaving, watching a great film on television, and having to leave it and go, and deal deal with something else. <laughs> but that's that's farming. That's absolutely. That's farming. Right. And you can you can't dodge it. And, and and milking is just continuous. It's, I mean, is it one spot in the day every day that you do the milking? No, that robot works away twenty four hours a day now, but not at one time. A robot does it. Yes. So how does that work? Well, the cows are coming out, and then the robot, whenever they feel the need to go and get milked, they can walk into it. And if the robot says yes, you can get milked. I'll milk you. And it hitches them up, or what? How does it? Just technically. Aye. Uh, lasers guide it on. Amazing. Laser, lasers guide it and uh, picks up the teats and sees where the teats are. And after you, this cow, for example, will go in tomorrow and I need to line it up first. And once I've got it on the first time, the robot remembers where the teats are, lines them up. The next time it goes in by itself, I don't need to be there. Okay, is that the biggest change in your life over Christmas days, over the years? Oh, definitely I think so. Yeah. The only thing is that when it goes wrong, sometimes it can really go wrong. And then you have nowhere else to milk the cows. All right. Uh, in the parlour, you could, you could always manage to get it working somehow. Um, that, that was not always a lot of fun if, if things went wrong, but you could get it working. Okay. Uh, whereas the robot only milks one cow at a time. Uh, Rob, it? I'm just going to change direction, Robert. I'm just thinking so that there might be quite a few wee kids watching this. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm thinking back to when you were a kid. Uh, do, you, do you have that great excitement? Can you remember yes. it? Yes. Um, uh, did you hang up a stocking? No, I don't remember a stocking ever getting hung up. But uh, You knew Santa was coming. You knew Santa was oh, coming. I... Uh, Mechano. Oh, was that one of your presents? That was one of my favourites. I had that several years from Santa. This is early Lego. Mechano. No, it was even better than Lego. Oh, all right. It was better than Lego. Defend it. But you, you had to put it together. It was all metal. Aye. And you had to fix it up with screws. And you could make trucks. You could make cranes. You could make things out of it that you could actually get to work. I played for hours and hours and hours and hours with that. When I was a toddler. When I, when I was wee. From a, probably about the age of... Eat. Uh, it was Meccano played with. You'd always eventually sit down as a family and have a Christmas dinner at some yes. point in the day. Yes. You very seldom went anywhere. Okay. So Christmas dinner was a family affair, but just our family. And sometimes, but not very often, you'd have somebody there on uh, Boxing Day or Christmas Eve. And uh, there wasn't a, a lot of other things went on. You just had all your work to do. It was more or less another working day, but you tried to get as much of it off as possible. And finally, would, do you give a thumbs up to Brussels sprouts for all the wains that I'm so sure? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. I like Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Any day of and, and right now, you can buy them quite cheap because they're in season. Okay. 
<laughs> Perfect. <laughs> well, Fintry wishes you and your family a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to everybody. <laughs> so. Fantastic. You want to be five minutes there. You want to be look? You want to be look at that robot? Yes, I would. I'm beloved. I'll just close this up. Put it in my pocket for safety. Thank you. Man. That was lovely. That was great. You've done this before. No. <laughs> <not really. laughs> that was very natural. <laughs> right. I've heard about this robot for a sport. I didn't know it. Get all that. Sorry for you. Put a lot of lining up. Okay. Right. Okay, I'm round. And through. Okay. Right. Oh my god. Oh, that comes out. Can I? Drop that away. 